Sorry guys about not making any videos for a while. Uh, it's summer here in Arizona and it's very hot and it's like if you live in Iowa, uh, this is like winter time. You don't go out much. Anyway, I owe you a video, so I'm going to make one. We're still working on the Galaxy. We're still working on the Mercury. We've still got videos that are coming. But I wanted to make a video to fill this, or not fill, but to try and fill this void a little bit. And I have an old uh, December 88 copy of Hemmings Motor News. And the prices of cars in here, it's going to make you cry. So I hope, I hope you're ready to cry. This is... Pretty sad, especially these Shelby's have gone up so much. I've got some bookmarks here. I'll read some of them to you. Here's one. Uh, Boss 69302, orange black vinyl interior, all original, front and rear spoilers, rear window louvers, 61,000 original miles, all numbers match, only 1,600 made. Magnum 500 wheels. Guess the price. Car stored under cover in heated warehouse. Guess the price. 69 Boss 302. 15,900. That's what the guy was asking for back in the day. So here's another one. 69 Boss 429. Excellent condition. Maroon black. Never wrecked or rested. All numbers match. Missing smog and battery. Guess the price. 69 Boss 429. $45,000. That's a, what, $350,000, $400,000 car today? Boss, 1973-02. Original paint. Yellow, shaker, louvers, spoiler, magnums. Motor redone. Numbers match. Smog pump. Includes power steering, power brakes, deluxe ginger interior. 35,000 miles. Guess the price. This is in New Jersey. Obviously, I can't give you guys the phone numbers here because, you know, you'd be calling them up. They don't, these people probably don't have these cars anymore. Uh, guess the price of the New Jersey Boss 302, original paint. 13500 for that one. Okay, you guys ready for some Shelby's? This is, this is really going to make you sad. Shelby, 66. This is the SFM 652078 Shelby. I'm sure that's today a known Shelby in the Shelby registry. 99% original, 10 spokes, Paxton supercharger, no rust. Guess the price. 66 Shelby. 22,900. 22,900. 1970 Boss 302, rust free, tack, magnums, etc. Very nice. Guess the price on this very nice. This is in uh, Philadelphia. $9,500. 70 Boss 302. Mustang, 1969 Boss 429, 29,434 miles. All original except tires. This is Mustang Boss 29, 69 Boss 29, KK. 2032. Again, I'm, I'm sure this is a known car today. Show condition. Show condition. 69 Boss 429. Guess the price. This is in uh, Missouri. $42,500. What they were asking for that car. That's, uh, you know, that's a good deal, right? <laughs> it was a lot of money back then, but still, that's a fantastic deal. You really have, if you bought that car and you still have it, you're really happy. Okay, I got some, I got some more in here for you. Just a second, I gotta check my bookmarks. Uh, okay, here, uh, some GTOs, guys. You know, we got some guys out there that like GTOs and Firebirds and stuff like that. Here's the 69 Firebird 400, AC, rally wheels, power steering, power disc brakes, AM, FM, gauges, hood tack, tilt steering, wood wheel. Needs some work. This is in California. 3750 bucks. the guy is asking for it. GTO, 66 convertible, 69,000 miles. One owner, uh, uh, one Southern family owner. Window sticker, build sheet, correct 389 four barrel. Fantastic new red finish with nice original black top and interior. New tires. Guess the price. 66 GTO convertible. 
So it sounds pretty nice. 14,500 be good about it for. You, have, you need a time machine to get it, but if you could go back in time, you could buy that GTO. 67 GTO convertible, rust free, 400 cubic inch, four speed, AC, power steering, power top, paint, tilt, AM, FM, blue, white top, factory wheels, needs restoring, complete but engine out of car. So that's a project. 67 GTO convertible project. $59.95. So $6,000 you could you could have bought that project. And I looked all through here. There's a, a section of Mopar parts, but there's no, and that would really make you sad because the Mopars, nobody wanted them back then. I think that's probably why they're not in here. There's Corvettes and there's Cadillacs and there's Lincolns, but uh, only parts for Mopar. But there are some Chevys in here that you might be interested in. And especially when you talk about prices that have gone up a lot. Sure, Shelby's have gone crazy. Any kind of rare Mustang has gone crazy over this time period. Um, but you got to remember back in the day, like uh, Impala 409, that was a badass car. Just like the 63 Arco Galaxy. Back in the day, this was the meanest thing on the street. 409 was, you know, fast car too. So these were desirable cars even back then. But some of these uh, prices, the 64 Impala wasn't quite considered like the ultimate Impala classic that it is now, like that specific year. So here's a 63 SS 409, 425 horsepower, four speed, 411 Posi, numbers matching, excellent condition. Car completely rebuilt, trans like new, straight California body, California title registration, new paint, 63 Impala SS409. Guess the price. It sounds like it's really nice too. 17000 or trade for 67 vet. Okay, Impala 64 Sport Coupe, rebuilt 283, auto, power steering, cold AC, tint. New white paint, blue interior, shocks, tires, battery, etc. Photos on request. Great car to show or drive. Guess the price. 64 Impala Sport Coupe. $59.95. $6,000 for that car. And, uh, Super Sport. 1963. And I'm not sure that this is uh, an Impala. But Super Sport, 63 convertible, power windows, steering, brakes, spotlight, new top two years ago, two title owners, no engine transmission, very straight body, good trim, including fish scale, no previous body repair, needs some small replacement panels. So again, that sounds like a, a project, but it's a 63 Super Sport convertible. Guess the price. This is insane. Seventeen hundred and seventy-five dollars for that. I mean, again, it's a project. It sounds like that's a lot of work, but a '63 Super Sport convertible for under two thousand dollars. So, guys, this is when this is when I started really getting interested in cars, and I remember looking through old Hemmings at, at Shelby's ten thousand dollars Shelby, and I just I wanted one so bad. Of ten thousand dollars, I'm talking like you could get a '66 GT350 for ten thousand. For, for you, if you're you know into some of the other years, '67s and '68s, you could pick those up for seventy-five hundred dollars around there. Um, and we're talking projects. You know, nice ones were still twenty, twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. But as you saw in there, even like a show car, Boss 429, forty-two thousand dollars. And so you made uh, a very good investment. If you bought that car back then and you still have it, you're happy. So again, guys, new videos coming soon. We're going to be skim coating the mercury and sanding it down and getting it ready for paint. I'm probably going to paint it myself again. We're going to be doing some real extreme detail on this car in the engine compartment and fixing some of the little paint issues. So I got a whole bunch of stuff planned for the fall when it gets cooler. 
because like I said, it's really hot here. This has been a really hot, brutal summer. It's nighttime right now. I'm filming this out in the garage and we, it rained earlier. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be doing this. All right, guys, so bear with me. Please have some patience. I promise you more videos coming soon. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed or at least didn't cry when you heard these old muscle car prices from 1989. Thanks, guys. Bye.